Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. This could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation if it does not resonate. And even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Alright, so your energy, your person's energy, what is between you and this person, the obstacle or challenge, okay. This is kind of a little bit similar to Pisces reading. I think they also had the Ace of Pentacles in this position. Some of you could be thinking about or dealing with a Pisces, or maybe you have strong Pisces in your chart. You might want to check that reading out as well. Um, you don't have to be, though. We also have strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo here. Under the deck is Pisces energy with a hangman, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Things have felt kind of stuck between you and this person. That's what I'm getting, Aquarius. It's like you really want to see some kind of movement or progression, but you feel like your person is like hot and cold, you know, from one minute to the next. Um, let's get a few message cards here just to kind of see what is going on for the collective. Clear messages and guidance. What is the energy here, please, Spirit, for the collective Aquarius? relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Courage. I find the inner strength to face with to face fear with confidence. Okay, here's what I feel like. And again, I will never justify someone's negative actions, behaviors, thoughts, etc. But we are here for a purpose. You know how you feel. You know what you think and you know what you want. You are here because you want to look at your person's perspective, whether we agree with it or not. What are their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions? What actions can you expect? Is this person wasting your time? Are they hiding things from you? The things that you need to know, okay? So I feel like your person, Aquarius, is someone who has been done really dirty in the past by people. This person may have a fear of commitment, just as they also may have a fear of abandonment. I think that this person is kind of like, I don't want you to lose you. I don't want you to leave me, but I'm so scared of taking that next step because then it puts me in a further position to get hurt. And I think that you're in this place of, yes, I've been understanding. Yes, I've been there for this person, but I just need to see you try. I need to see you making more of a genuine effort because I feel like I am putting in all the work, planning for our future, yearning, wishing, waiting, hoping, anticipating things moving forward. But yet your person, again, one minute they're hot, the next minute they're cold. They're in, they're out, they're back, they're forth. This person, you can just feel like at times, some, even when you're communicating, something's a little bit off. Um, and there's times where this person is just so affectionate and so warm and so there and so, you know, just present with you. And you know, you can tell they're all about you. The next minute you feel like even when they're talking to you, it's like you can feel that they're guarded or something. They're distant in some way. Now, between you and this person with the fool, there is a lot of excitement. But it's, some, it's like someone's trying to kind of meditate or calm themselves or ground themselves. See how she's holding the crystal here? And the wand, on the other hand, like trying to find some kind of balance between like having faith in spirit and then having like this uh, energy of like fighting for something important to her. It's like you both want to move forward, but you're also both afraid. You're afraid that this pattern will continue, that maybe this person's not sure of what they really want. Maybe they're wasting your time. Maybe they're not sure of what they want, right? And they're also afraid of, you know, taking this leap of faith and ending up getting hurt. So it's like they're trying to keep you at a distance. I'm not saying that that's right. What I'm saying is, is that this person has to kind of realize that this is a relationship that's very different from relationships they've had in the past. Okay, whether romantic relationships, exes, whoever, baby mama, ba you know, daddy, baby daddy, whoever, it doesn't matter it, if it's like parents, um, you know, just toxic friends, family, whoever it is, this relationship is very different and they have to be able to kind of take accountability and kind of realize, you know, maybe I'm, cre maybe I am the one that's creating issues. Maybe I need to have more faith, courage, and confidence in this connection and in myself 
to take this leap of faith to try to put myself out there. This person's been afraid of taking that next step, planting that seed, building with you. Because on one hand, I don't want to lose you. There's so much excitement and passion and playfulness and joy, but there's also this deep-rooted fear for this person about getting hurt because they have learned in previous experiences that every time they get close to somebody, that person hurts them or betrays them in some way. But you are not the past person. This is a very different kind of connection. And they know that deep down. But it's almost like in their mind, you're too good to be true. So they try to keep you at a distance. They can't help but crave you and pull you back in. But then, you know, when things are kind of going good, they kind of push you away because they're afraid of being vulnerable, of putting themselves out there, of these feelings that they're having. Now we're looking at the page of swords and their thoughts towards you. I do feel like this person is trying to understand the depths of their feelings and what it is they see with you and how to move forward. Now, Page of Swords, it is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I also have Strong Gemini here as well. But this person wants to make things work with you. They don't want to keep running. How do they feel about you? Well, we have the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's warmth and comfort and understanding and feeling like you can just truly be yourself and you're appreciated for who you truly are. This person's in love with you. If you've had any doubts about that, this person is in love with you. And they want this with you. They want to embrace this. They don't want to be guarded. They want to let you close. They want to let you in. They want to open up to you. They know they need to, but they're they're afraid. What if I open up and I end up getting hurt worse than I ever have because I've never felt this way before by anyone else? I mean, I've had, you know, basic relationships where I was so, you know, damaged, destroyed. But for someone that I would feel this kind of connection with, I mean, I don't I don't know if I could handle it. I don't know if I could handle that rejection, that loss, that pain. That's what I'm getting. This person is so in love with you. But what's holding them back is this fear. They've been putting things off because they're afraid of losing. They've been keeping themselves stuck. But they see so much excitement with you. They envision that. Working together. Building. Allowing things to kind of grow. Their intentions. Well, with the magician, a lot of times, like, this can be someone who's kind of, like, manipulating the situation. And I don't mean, like, this person's, like, telling you one thing... Uh, to get you to do certain things they want you to do. I mean, like, this person's trying to kind of orchestrate things, trying to keep it my way. You know, they want, um, on their timeline, on, on their speed, right? This person doesn't want to rush things. They want to have some sense of control here. They're trying to kind of keep the brakes on something. Not too fast. Let's move slow, careful. Actions, five of wands. This person has been fighting their feelings. I get for some of you, there definitely could be some negative influences outside of the connection, like friends who maybe disagree. Maybe you guys come from different cultures, religions, backgrounds. Like I said, maybe this person has a child with someone from their past or an ex or someone or a parent who is very controlling or very opinionated. And there can be some conflict there. And that may be part of this. But I do see that this person is going to try to fight for this connection. They may tr now, they may fight for this. Maybe I don't want to lose you. I'll try harder. You know, please don't stay on my side. I don't want. I don't want you to leave. I know you need more. Just give me more time. And that's what this person is asking for. They are asking for time because they are. They're painting this vision for the future and telling you what they can see with you, talking about things moving forward. But they're asking for time. And so for you, that can be kind of frustrating because, like, on one hand, you don't want to lose this connection, but you also don't want to put your life on hold either. Now, I always recommend you guys get personal readings, if not with me, with someone that you trust, someone you know will tell you the truth. I feel like this person is coming in and being fighting for this relationship, but also keeping the brakes on it a little bit. It's like, all right, yeah, we'll talk about engagement in like a year, or we'll talk about this, but like give me six months, or they're just trying to kind of buy a little bit of time before they can prepare themselves because they don't want to lose you on one hand. But they're also really scared of taking that next step. There's a lot of inner work that this person really does need to do. They know this connection is different, but that fear is still there. 
and for some of you, like I said, there definitely could be still some like residual influences from people outside the connection who may still have some kind of direct link to to them or to you or to the relationship. Um, but this person doesn't want to lose you. They're asking for time. They're asking you to be patient with them, trying to kind of come to some kind of compromise with you, with what you may be willing to expect. Maybe I'm not ready to get engaged right now, but maybe we could move in together. Or let's, I'm not ready to buy a house, but, you know, can we get engaged? You know, it's like they're trying to find some type of middle ground with you where you're feeling like you're getting what you want, but also giving them some kind of time to prepare in some way. I do feel this person doesn't want to lose you, and there's a lot of love here, but like I said, they are a little bit resistant. They're scared. So that's what I have for y'all. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.